So this particular collaboration was a collaboration between a, chore a choreography dance class in the Department of Theater, um, between my job that's in the Department of Theater and the College of Arts and Letters, and then between the Digital Scholarship Lab and the library. The purpose of the project was to take a dancer's concept, so this, these choreography students, their concept for how to communicate through both dance and media, and to uh, have that media show up in the 360 room in the Digital Scholarship Lab. So early in the summer, uh, Brad will cut and I started chit chatting about how we could get our two classes together as we prepared for a potential online semester. And so we were really talking about my Theater 219 class, the Intro to Projection Design and his choreography class, and talking about, hey, how can we really explore dance and media together? Allison Dobbins um, in the Department of Theater, she um, used her projection class to allow us, uh, the students, to create um, beautiful imagery that the dancers could could work with. It all started uh, a couple years ago when I was teaching a social dance class online for Integrative Arts and Humanities and I made a connection with uh, the College of Arts and Letters and Daniel Trego and Kate Sanka and, and was trying to figure out a way to have the students feel like they were still in the in the room in the studio learning the dances but without having the social element. It seems ridiculous right because social dance is meant to be around your peers. We had to try to recreate that. So we did basic videos to start off, but then we started using a 360 degree um, camera, GoPro, that basically allows the user to move the, the footage around and they can see basically everything that's in the space. And so the next step was to actually see what that looked like um, without a pair of VR goggles on, but to actually be surrounded by a room. That mixed with the fact that other designers have created the projections, the students have made the, the dances, we're working with film, so we still have a collaboration process in place. It was really cool to get to use a different space than what I've ever used before and to kind of try to do something in the way of projections rather than acting, because I'm, um, I'm an acting major. I was in a projection class at the same time that I was taking on this project. So I learned a little bit about like Photoshop and um, After Effects. Basically, both of the dancers provided like a, an overview of the concept that they had and some of the topics that they wanted to include. I think that especially with Sadie's piece where she wanted to discuss the pandemic um, and sort of the events that led up to it and events that were spurred by the pandemic, have changed our entire lives, have surrounded us in a way. So I think that the space really worked to convey just how much of an impact all of these themes that the pieces discussed have had on us. And as for Kenzie's piece, which was more focused on like female empowerment and on like the women's marches, that sort of felt like you're being embraced by the pride that you feel as a woman or for women and for female empowerment. Um, so I felt like the space really serves both of those pieces well. It's, it's a, one of the favorite things that I have going on right now, right? Because we can't do our, we can't do our productions because of the COVID virus. Um, I can't work on professional shows. Um, no theater is really taking place except for the stuff that we're working on Zoom. So this is this is a massive creative um, outlet. Something has happened with tech and the collaboration between those three people, these three areas, that has allowed it to continue to go forward. And honestly, this kind of work is something that I'd be doing if it weren't, if it weren't a pandemic in the world anyway. So having little things like this, little, little projects that take a lot more work and take a lot more time, but they're worth it in the end because the student gets to experience that, that thing that they've been missing for a long time. This project came about because the 360 Lab exists, because it's a great space that really makes the technology, the technological hurdle very low. To have that walk-in ready made it so this project was even possible. The uh, Digital Scholarship Lab has been very well used by me and every single time I go there I find that they're doing something new or there's an additional feature that I haven't taken advantage of yet and so then I, I know what I'm going to do next semester. I'm going to take advantage of that.